Apocalypse. It, it'd be like full sets that were played on Apocalypse. Yep. Now, we didn't see a lot of Small Fortress of Lions, and that is a stage that we saw a lot of in other regions. So we see some definite regional differences. A lot of regions take cues from North America, but there also are those regional differences. Coming into this one, of course, we have very uh, familiar characters that we're used to seeing from all of these players. We have two Raymans on the screen, one on each team. Of course, those are the Doll Sims. We also have a Maggie, and Ooh. we have the Akuma. So we got a lot of Street Fighter characters, but we also have Maggie from The Walking Dead. Oh, man, the Dow. Down air catches both red team members, but they manage to get back up safely. This is a little bit of a repeat from what we saw in the summer championship because they Ooh. were in the grand finals, but might see a different result as right now Pugsy first one to fall. Now keep in mind, at this point, we are in the winner's finals. That is the top side of the bracket. So the winner will move into the grands. The loser will move down into the elimination bracket to wait on the result of experience made versus Boomy and Snowy. This is a double elimination tournament. So a loss here does not take you out. It does not send you packing just yet. Yeah, it's far from over, but man, Luna and Pugsy definitely on the back foot. They have that team combo. They have that Ooh. double KO. That's gonna bring them right back into it. And Luna, Dude, he is Classic. feeling some type of way. Yeah, he loves that taunt now. He's been using that. I can't remember if he was the one using it a lot during 3v3. I remember seeing it during 3v3, but I can't remember who it exactly was. But we know he's loving using it now. In fact, he used it so much, he even accidentally used it one yeah. time and almost lost a game because yeah. of it. He tweeted that he accidentally taunted and almost lost a game, and that would have been a critical one. They did go to game five just a little while ago. And... You know, when you go to game five, that means a lot of the games are probably pretty even. Same story here. We see Pugsy very damaged on second stock. Same thing for Walshy. Only difference here is in that time, Cutie also took a lot of damage, but Luna did not. They're going to have their choice of weapons. Walshy and Cutie are going to spawn back in at the same time, which means they're also going to have to compete for weapon spawns. You saw that one come in. Cutie grabbed it. Second one comes in. Walshy's able to grab it, so they didn't take too much damage in the time frame. Recovery coming out from Cutie. They're looking for the KO on Pugsy, and they're looking for a little bit more damage onto Luna before he's ready to be taken out. Well, they do get that KO, the downlight side air, the follow-up off of the neutral light from the teammate could lead to more. Went for the optimal damage there with the recovery. Instead of going for something like a pressure situation, we go for like a Nair potential ground pound. While she does hit the side air, but still Luna living. Oh, interesting. You saw Pugsy go for the D-Light, and then he, like, chase dodged down diagonal right, maybe thinking that Cutie was going to put pressure on him, maybe interrupt any further combo. But Cutie ended up getting the hit anyway. It's, I don't know if Cutie knew that was coming or maybe just happened to make a guess in the moment and guess right. Could have just been a little bit of a lucky situation, but uh, either way, it is helping out the blue team as they're bringing this back. They've got this to even stocks. Pugsy has to avoid the team combo, but the Nair oh. hits, but Cutie's looking the wrong way. I don't know if he just like overestimated how much damage was on Pugsy's stock, so he expected Pugsy to be sent a little bit further, which is why he turned that around, or that could have been a miss input. Of course, you hear that Raspberry coming out. That is Luna yet again. You know if you hear that, that's going to be on Luna. Nice side sig there. That was that double KO. That was a nice start to the game that gave red team the victory luna and pugsy have been good about getting both blue team members ko'd at relatively similar times and the best thing about that is it gives luna plenty of time to throw out that taunt and really try to get into the heads of the blue team he is uh or sorry of the red team he is uh really actually no they are the blue team he is really leaning into that uh that villain arc of his so if you end up knocking out both of the opponents at the same time, there's there's pros and cons to that. Because mm -hmm. if you can split them up, Whoa. then that gives you the power play Whoa. opportunity when you knock one of them out. Unfortunately for the red team, they weren't able to take Cutie out of there just yet, but a lot of damage was built up. He could be taken out of this fight pretty early, and yes, he is. Every single hit from Luna sent him flying, so he was separated from Walshy. And now, see, this is the difference that we're talking about when you don't knock them out at the same time. It's great to get two KOs, don't get me wrong, but now we have a situation where they were able to add up that damage onto Walshy. So if you keep them separate from one another, then they don't have the option to really push that twos, those real man advantages, and the red team can do that. Yeah, desyncing those stocks gives you a bunch of opportunities to go for those 2v1s, those long extended combos nice pickup from cutie spot dodging to stay in the air and then picking up that recovery to clean up the stock count but like we we're talking about he got the ko on the cutie but he couldn't throw out the taunt can't get into their heads now luna was doing a great job surviving last game he's still doing a good job compared to basically everybody else in the lobby except for pugsy now pugsy is the survivalist we know that pugsy is very good at that of course he's playing maggie which probably gives him a survival buff we've seen how she could survive in the uh, treacherous times of the walking 
head. Yeah, I mean, she was able to survive a many a walker, but now surviving in the edge guard, gets the dare. Oh. While she's gonna fall, Cutie still stuck on the outside. Red team gonna go for more, but while she's coming back in, Luna gets launched in again. Pugsy's still living, still oh, not enough. man, that lower strength of Val is going to hurt the blue team here. She has the buff in defense, but having that lower strength means those sword recoveries are gonna KO a little bit later. Those neutral signatures are gonna KO a little bit later. Yeah, that's Akuma matching the stats and moveset of Val. Bringing out those gauntlets now onto Luna. Might be the target for the blue team. If they take out Luna, they can go for those 2v1s. They managed to actually resync their stock count despite Cutie's early loss. Putting out some pressure onto Luna. He's taking some damage while she taking out Cutie in the 1v2. That axe recovery keeping him alive for just a moment, but not long enough to do any more damage. Side air from Luna and the taunt coming out. They're feeling good about this. Yeah, Luna and Pugsy are feeling some kind of way. Mostly Luna at this point. He's really throwing out that, uh, that specific emote after every KO he can. I'm surprised it's not his like his win emote. You know what I mean? Like on the podium, he's not doing it. What? Which one is he doing? Are you sure I he's think not? It's doing? random. It's definitely oh, not. Okay. Oh, yeah. I, he just has it set to random. Is that what it defaults to? Um, I don't remember anymore. I'll be honest. Okay. I've set mine to random so long ago. Yeah, same. I also don't have that many taunts. So gotta gotta add to the taunt kit. Game three, though, Luna and Pugsy. Pugsy taking a little bit more damage, maybe not going to be able to have that survivability. We're seeing Walshi throw out that sword down sig twice already when he had thrown it out before. Now we're getting a little bit more small fortress or fortress of lions today as we're getting into this one, and we are getting more and more damage from Luna. Also a KO. Cutie doing his best to knock out Luna. Trying no! to oh, No way! Even though he fell there, what a sick insig coming out from Luna. What a setup, Pugsy with the down light down air in the edge guard, sending him straight to Luna to get that gravity cancel NSIG for the KO, making sure that the trade comes out so the red team can maintain that lead, and it is Pugsy on the survival. Man, Luna and Pugsy are up 2-0 in this game. He just got that neutral signature. It's not super in favor of the red team. Like, it's a nice lead, but not super in favor. But I'm feeling like the vibes on the red team probably immaculate here. Cutie thinking he can get a little cute there. Not quite. Yeah, I was trying to do something cheeky there, similar to what Luna did to him, but didn't work out. Pugsy was ready, was able to fast fall low enough. Ensig comes out from Walshy. Luna with the down wow. sig. While she's stuck in the edge guard, the Sayers don't connect. Goes for that, misses, but touches the wall, resets the jump, gonna eat the side signature. Great double KO from Walshy, grabbing one, then grabbing the other. Walshy gonna be the only one on second stock. Now the lead is actually favoring the blue team. Luna without a weapon should be able to get one pretty quickly, and he does. There was a little bit of scrapping going on there, but he was able to get far enough away to not get hit by that and still use that range that he could pick up weapons from. And a great weapon swap coming out from Pugsy. Got the neutral light, was trying to get more team combo action, but while she ended up breaking that one up, Cutie still taking up the brunt of the damage for the blue team. Oh, no recovery connection. It's still going. Luna's doing so much damage this game. Neutral signature comes out, misses, but then immediately turns oh, around. Man. It's the sideline. This 2v1 combo, you knew Pugsy was ready for that. He started charging it to make sure. High ceilings on Fortress of Lions. No problem for Pugsy with all the strength that he has on the Maggie. And, of course, using that signature and charging it up. Absolute destruction at the tail end of that one. They took out Cutie, immediate team combo onto Walshy, and they have been hitting that team combo. The gauntlets of Luna to set up for Pugsy's end sig has happened time and time again. That is one combo they have on lock. It's man, that they kind of made that one. I'm not saying it looked like a walk in the park for them, but it, they made it look reasonably easy much easier than i would have expected i still expected the luna pugsy victory over walshy and cutie there but maybe not quite like that no that was um a very convincing finish luna and pugsy looking really good they've already earned their spot in the grand finals with a 3-0